The current BYD is no longer the previous BYD. This is a comment I saw on the internet. Although this netizen is referring to the jump in the quality of BYD cars, extending this sentence to a larger scope is actually applicable to the entire BYD, it's really not what it used to be. The spotlight of this year's car industry is chasing BYD. Since the announcement of the suspension of production of fuel vehicles in April, the actual production has been discontinued since March, the market value in June exceeded 1 trillion for the first time, and now in August, it was listed on the Fortune magazine's globally recognized Fortune 500 list. BYD's the highlights come one after another, and with the breakthroughs in the sales of new energy vehicles, it seems that God is looking after BYD. Besides, in this year's Fortune 500, there are 23 auto manufacturers, of which seven are from China. Among these seven, BYD is the only manufacturer focusing on the production of new energy vehicles. After consolidating the status of China's number one in the field of new energy cars, the only thing that needs to be killed in order to become world number one is Tesla. In the past, Musk used to be cynical about BYD, but now the core advantages has made BYD become much more competitive. However, many people may not know that cars are only a part of BYD's business sector. BYD's strength and size may be much stronger and larger than most people know. In the eyes of many people, BYD is just a car brand. In the opinion of some people who are still prejudiced, this BYD is still synonymous with cheap Chinese cars. However, BYD is really more than that. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age, now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. By the end of 2021, BYD has about 290,000 employees. By 2021, BYD has realized revenue of about 216 billion yuan. Its business spans the four major industries of automobile, rail transit, new energy and electronics. Moreover, in these four parallel industries, Almost all of them have established industry-leading positions in their respective fields, and also supported BYD's trillion-dollar market value. As for the new energy vehicle track that everyone is familiar with, there is no need to repeat BYD's achievements in the past two years. People who buy BYD cars should know that many of its hot-selling models have to wait for several months to pick up the car. In the past July, BYD's passenger car sales reached 162,214 units, a year-on-year -year increase of 184.7%, including the two major product lines of commercial vehicles and forklifts, the sales volume was 162,530 units, a year-on-year -year increase of 183.1%. In fact, BYD's auto business covers the seven major conventional fields such as public transportation, taxis, private cars, road passenger cars, urban commodity logistics, urban building logistics, and sanitation. At the same time, a number of electric special vehicles have also been launched in the for major special fields such as airports, ports, mines, and warehousing. What does it mean? Well, in terms of the overall performance of China's auto market in July, the retail volume of the passenger car market was 1.768 million, a year-on-year -year increase of 17%. In other words, BYD's growth rate is nearly 11 times that of the entire market, and they are all new energy models. 81,223 sales of DM models and 80,991 sales of EV models. This data is very surprising. Whether you are willing to admit its excellence or not, 
In recent years, BYD, with its market-leading technologies such as Blade Batteries, DMI Super Hybrids, ePlatform 3.0, and CTB Battery Body Integration, has achieved more than expected achievements on the track of new energy vehicles. So far in July, BYD New Energy has sold more than 2.3 million vehicles. The goal of BYD is to strive to solve all oil-using vehicles in the field of road transportation with electricity. The strategic goal of the company is very clear and decisive. As a new energy overall solution provider, BYD not only built a moat in the field of new energy vehicles, but also made industrial connections for new energy products such as batteries, solar energy, and energy storage. However, compared with the two major industries of automobile and new energy, which have entered the harvest period, BYD is still in the stage of large-scale investment in the field of rail transit. But combined with its own resource advantages and promising future development prospects, this sector will definitely become a new growth pole for BYD in the future. According to BYD's planning and settings, the rail transit solutions they proposed, the SkyRail for medium traffic and the Sky Shuttle for low traffic are also based on their own integrated innovation advantages, and the electric vehicle industry chain will be extended. To put it simply, BYD's SkyRail and Sky Shuttle are cross-border integration of BYD's new energy vehicles, buses and rail transit technologies, combining the natural advantages of electrification and intelligence. Combined with the significant reduction in construction and operating costs, about 15% to 20% of the subway and about one-third of the construction cycle, it fits very well with the future transportation changes in the city. In April last year, BYD had already tested the unmanned Sky Shuttle in Chongqing, and built a sky rail in Bahia, Brazil. Of course, the laying and construction of sky rail is directly related to the planning of the city. This requires full communication and coordination with various local governments. Unlike the direct sales of automobiles, the overall commercialization will be slower. Judging from the revenue of BYD's entire group, it can also be seen that the SkyRail business has not produced commercial returns at present. Among BYD's 216 billion revenue in 2021, the three major businesses of new energy vehicles and related businesses, electronics, subrechargeable batteries and photovoltaics account for 52.04%. 40% and 7.62% of the total revenue, respectively. However, I think that based on the concept of future public travel and the needs of urban environmental protection, the business prospects of BYD's business segment are bound to be unlimited. Finally, let's talk about the electronics section. In fact, this business is the cornerstone of BYD's steady development over the years. Compared with automobiles, new energy and rail transit, BYD is a muffled money maker in the field of electronics. Previously, BYD Electronics' main business was mostly foundry business and mainstream mobile phone brands on the market, such as Huawei, Xiaomi, Samsung, Honor and Oppo, all had foundry cooperation with BYD Electronics. At least more than half of China's mobile communication development history was participated and witnessed by BYD Electronics. Since last year, it has been reported that BYD Semiconductor will be listed independently. As a subsidiary of BYD, BYD Semiconductor claims to be the largest manufacturer of automotive-grade IGBTs in China. Its main products include power semiconductors and smart sensors. In general, from the perspective of the development of several major business sectors, BYD's spontaneous advantages in recent years have undoubtedly been strengthened. Each segment operates independently. BYD has maximized the expansion of the battery, which is the core advantage of BYD, 
so as to release its own advantages in the new energy competition pattern at this stage. The BYD of today is indeed not the BYD of the past, and based on the existing competitive advantages, the BYD of the future should not be the BYD we can imagine today. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.